For this problem, we'll be factoring by the greatest common factor. Notice that each of the terms has the y minus 3 in a parentheses in common. So we're going to put that in front of another parentheses. Now, we'll fill the second parentheses by what we get when we divide by that parentheses y minus 3 that they had in common. So, we have the y minus 3 canceling each other out here, leaving us with just the x. That'll go first in our second parentheses. Now we have the y minus 3 canceling each other out here, leaving us with just the 2. Of course, if you want to check this answer, you can always do the FOIL method first, outside, inside, last, to make sure that you do get the original expression.